Hi, it's Susanna Troy. I have NYPD hero, I call him Joe Sanchez, the Hispanic Serpico, on the phone. He's in Florida, and I'm doing a year-long YouTube um, documentary series. And today we're going to talk about Charles Hines, because I requested that he give me a five-minute interview, and I even was asked to write a script of the questions, and I promised not to go off the script. I wouldn't ask him about my personal politics and feelings about Vito Lopez or anything, just about NYPD reform, how we can get it. So Charles Hines uh, declined. So Joe, what do you have to say? Because you considered him a friend. What do you have to, what's your comment on this? Well, I'm uh, a little bit disappointed because, uh, you know, I was hoping that he would come up and back, back to me again. Okay, he, he did come up to bat for you. Uh, tell, tell our audience about that. Well, that was back in 1985 when he became the, the new special state prosecutor after his predecessor, uh, Thomas Duffy, that, you know, uh, was both, from what I understand, stepped down. And, uh, yeah, he dropped my indictment because uh, Thomas Duffy had illegally uh, indicted me back in uh, 1983. And uh, Charlie Joe Hines in 1985 dismissed the indictment. Something he had to do, by the way, by law, since I was wrongfully indicted. And I never waived my immunity uh, before testifying in front of a, a grand jury when uh, my partner and I, you know, my partner Herman Velez and I arrested six drug dealers back in uh, April of 1982 in the confines of the uh, nine old, excuse me, in the confines of the three old precinct in Washington Heights. Okay, and for anyone who's just coming in new, Joe is a decorated Vietnam vet with a purple heart who was wounded uh, quite badly. So he had quite a feeling for the Boston Marathon victims because he knows what it is to have shrapnel and wounds. And he also is highly decorated, which you could see just some of them in this photograph. Um, and yet he was set up for being a good cop for blowing the whistle. So I contacted Charlie Joe Hines. I said I promised to not bring in my politics. So Joe, I can't tell you that he, you know, maybe he punished you and um, is standing in the way of police reform because of my politics, or he's just someone who wants to play it safe, and he's trying to get reelected. And ironically, he just was backed by uh, Eric Adams, who now was uh, caught in this um, Shirley Huntley uh, wiretapping. We don't know yet if he's going to be in trouble or not, but it doesn't look good. So it's just, you know, strange. And I've left the door open at any point because you considered him a friend that he can come back. Um, but as you said, like, he came to bat for you, and um, I was chatting with you earlier, and you pointed out he's a public servant. He represents the people. So in our closing comment, what do you have to say about that as a public servant? Shouldn't he be well, part of yes, yeah. He is an elected official uh, for the people and justice for all. I just hope that, uh, you know, he, uh, he does, uh, he reconsiders and gives you an interview, a five, ten minutes interview in regards to uh, my, situa my situation back in 83 and the fact that he, he did dismiss my indictment. He did meet with me. He did apologize to me. He did tell me personally that he, he was hoping that I did get back on the job. Right. And that if, and, and I, I, I hope and, and pray that uh, he does you yeah. know, give you an interview. I agree. Let's leave the door open, although no offense, I'm not hopeful. And um, Joe, our go th goal through this documentary, um, you know, by the end of the year, throughout the Adrian Schoolcraft trial, I will be interviewing you. And my goal, whether it's by the end of the year or 10 years from now, when this documentary maybe will be edited by somebody else and up there, is that you get a reinstatement, an honorary reinstatement, and that you uh, get an apology, you and, and your entire family. I even feel your parents up in heaven know how wrongly you were they were hurt by this, you were hurt, your family and loved ones, and the city really needs to step up, and you are the Hispanic Serpico, and Hispanic people don't even really know your story, so my goal with you and um, anybody who wants to step forward on your behalf in the next year is to tell your story, so thank you. Any closing words? Well, hopefully we can reach out to us, the Avila Prensa, the Spanish newspaper in New York, yes. uh, and also again, the, the Daily News. Uh, with uh, John Mazzulli, who's a friend, and he's written two good stories on me, and mm -hmm. he's very supportive. And I hope that, uh, yeah, we can succeed on this. And like I, I said, Charlie John Hines is, a, is an honest man from what I understand, you know, and uh, I just hope that he does the right thing. 
Well, um, so far he hasn't, and um, maybe the element is the factor is me because I am an outspoken activist, but also um, to me, if we're going to get police reform, true police reform, the NYPD have to stop punishing the whistleblowers, the good cops, and start going after the bad cops. And so you you should get an apology. And um, we're going to need a little time before the next installment. But Joe will be coming here to New York. I'll be meeting him in person for the first time. And I can't wait to bring you that moment. Thanks again, Joe. And you see um, up there those numbers? That's Joe's badge number, 3712. Thanks a lot, Joe. Bless you.